What it is, everybody. It's your boy back with another reaction video. And we'll be reacting to Leprechaun Returns. So, it's, 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 it's Leprechaun versus Superman Returns. Uh, this is a new... If anyone who's seen the old Leprechaun movies with... Uh, the guy played the Leprechaun. Warwick Davis? I want to say his name was. And the first Leprechaun movie had uh, Jennifer Anderson in it. I didn't even know that was her. Even though I, I was, I used to watch the show Friends. I didn't realize that was her. Like <laughs> maybe because she was younger when she did that, and I just for some reason my brain just could like put them together. But I didn't realize that was her until I was like a teenager, and I was like, shit, that was. I was watching Leprechaun, and I was like, holy shit, I didn't know that was her. But I always liked the Leprechaun movies uh first one second one i even kind of what was was that, was that actual third one or was or did they just go to leprechaun in the hood i want to say it was three i could have sworn i want to say there was three leprechauns I know, I think, damn it. Oh, I want to say there was three Leprechaun movies. And then it went to Leprechaun in the Hood. And I know it was two of those. Which I got a, I got a kick out of those. those are, I thought those were pretty good. Well, I mean, not, not really good, but I mean, you know, but they were entertaining. What the fuck? Okay, they had Leprechaun, Leprechaun 2 in 94, Leprechaun 3 95, Leprechaun in Space. Did not see that. That was in 97. At least I don't remember seeing it. Maybe it was so bad, I just blocked it out. Uh, then they had Leprechaun in the Hood in 2000, and Leprechaun in the Hood 2 2003. Oh, they had a reboot already in 2014 called Leprechaun Origins. Hmm. <laughs> Wolverine Origins. Uh, after Leprechaun's 2 theatrical gross disappointment trademark. Kind of, um, oh, they released Leprechaun 3. It was direct video. Okay, that's... I'm, I probably saw Leprechaun 3. I had to, I, it's been so long. I probably have to see. I know... Leprechaun 1 and 2 were like my favorite and I used to watch Leprechaun in the Hood whenever it came on TV but uh, 1 and 2 were really my favorite. I used to, always, I used to watch that like around every Halloween I would watch those Halloween movies the Halloween movie like the movie Halloween and Halloween 2 and the uh, Halloween <laughs> H2O <laughs> and Resurrection uh, not not H two O, more so Resurrection H two O, and then of course Friday the Thirteenth. I used to watch that. The scary movie was all October. But anyway, yeah, Leprechaun Returns. Let's just see. This is any good. I doubt Warwick Warwick I think Warwick Davis is in this as the Leprechaun. But let's see if it's any good. All right. Here we. Oh shit! I thought I recognized that voice. He was from the. Uh, he was in the original. Leprechaun. I don't remember his name, but I recognize him. Of course, I mean, he's much older. This looks like it's gonna be going straight to video. Oh shit, did not expect that. Jesus. I 
Oh yeah, I forgot about that. He's like telekinetic. I don't think that's Warwick, Warwick Davis. Oh, what is this? Final Destination meets Leprechaun. What the fuck? I have an evil dead moment now. <laughs> well, uh, I mean, it looked okay. Uh, Interesting. I mean, he, if I remember, he had telekinesis kind of like in other movies. Because I was, because I remember, I was like, at first it was kind of like just, a, if I remember correctly, it was almost just like a Chucky. But I was like, well, he's magic, so it makes sense for him to, to do different things. I'm curious. I'm. I'm 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 actually giving it the benefit of that like inside I wanna say I didn't like it. But I'm curious to see if it's actually any good. Cause I've watched a lot of like a lot of movies that I thought were crap. And they were actually decent movies. Like I was that guy who went to well my dad was kinda of that guy and I slowly became that. It was go to Best Best Buy, go to Blockbuster. Or movie gallery. Anybody from the South knows what movie gallery is. And just go in this section in the back where all on the wall is a bunch of movies that straight to, you know, direct to video and no one really rents all that much. And we, me and my dad was always the ones who bought those. Well, rented them. And we were watching. <laughs> Even though they were a lot of were horrible movies, but they had a little, they had a certain charm to, I don't know what that is. Sound like some old nostalgic type guy. Well, the movie had a, had a certain charm to it that, that these new movies don't have nowadays. Like, <laughs> it's not like a fucking asshole. But, uh, I don't know, like, is this, I don't know. We had we had to see. I don't I don't want to. I don't like dogging on movies. I mean, it looked like the the acting is going to be is is going to be a distant second. And I can appreciate that in certain movies like action movies. I can appreciate the acting being a distant second to the action. Like I watched a lot of '80s movies, especially as a kid, like growing up, and. A lot of the 80s action movies and a lot of those movies the acting was not very good but the action was and it's an action movie so get the action right you know and they that's what they went for they like they gotta get this action right movies like horror and like dramas and stuff you, they kind of have to have the acting unless you're just gonna rely on like jump scares in a horror movie or something but or the creepy vibe or whatever but the acting has to be somewhat better. Like take a take for instance, like Sleepaway Camp. That acting was horrible in that movie. But the last act, the last scene in that movie, made that movie worth watching. Actually, I mean, you could just watch just that scene nowadays. But that la anybody who's seen Sleepaway Camp, you know what I'm talking about. You can look on YouTube if you want to see that the, the final scene in there. And thinking about it just disturbs me right now. But the acting was horrible, and it was hard to get through that movie because the acting was so horrible. So that's what I said. Like movies, I was, I was like, other than action movies you, and martial arts movies, like, you kind of need some more competent actors. And I don't know. I'm gonna judge these kids that so they can't act, but from the trailer. It looks like, you know, they, they hired them because they're cheap. They're, cheap. they're young, up-and-coming actors, and they're not expensive. Because this is going to direct a video anyway. So, 
But, I mean, CGI looked okay, I guess. I can say that. The, the makeup actually looked pretty good. I like that they got the guy from the original in there. The, uh, the old the heavy set guy. He's from the original. I don't remember what his name was. I'm only looking this up because I already had it open and I typed Leprechaun in there. I said, wait a minute, I just react to this person and I just, if I want to talk about like actors and stuff, I just not look it up. But, um, Mark Holton. That's his name. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, okay, his name was Warwick Davis. Yeah, okay. All right. But yeah, but uh, we'll see. I wonder, did they ask him so they could? I wonder, did they ask him to be in his? Or was he? Or did, or did, was he? Or did he audition? He probably auditioned. I don't think I've seen him in anything else in like the past twenty years, maybe longer than that. I don't think, unless he's been in some other direct to video stuff, and I just haven't seen it. But anyway, what did y'all think of it? Did y'all like it? Let me know in the comments. Let each other know what you thought about it. Did you, did you think this is going to be a hit on, on DVD? <laughs> well, anyway, well, we'll see. But, uh, you know, comment, like, subscribe. I'll see y'all later.